We're traveling to Kiev from Lviv, where we've been for the past two months. It's still kind of dangerous to go back, but we really wanted to go back home to check on our apartment and the parents, so we're going back. to Kiev have been perfect, like this specific highway we're on, it is Kiev Chop, which goes all the way to western Ukraine. Traveling to Kiev is about seven to eight hours. The biggest issue is getting gas, so we're at a gas station right now. Not a lot of them have any kind of gas, uh, a lot of them have limitations on how much you can get into one car, so we have to visit quite a few of them on the way. All the signs and all the guidance and directions across the roads have been removed. Once the bus started, we have gotten information uh, and guidance from our government in many ways. And one of the ways has been for the people to remove the signs and basically any names of cities and villages that are on the road as you travel. So if and when Russian occupants make it to this specific region, it's very hard for them to orient. Even for us, when we're traveling back home, we really have to go with the map because there, there are no uh, pointers on where to travel you really have to know the road to get back home. So we're in Kiev region right now, probably around 10 to 15 miles from Kiev. There's a lot of destruction here, a lot of residential homes, a lot of infrastructure. The bridge over the road, this has been a way to cross the highway, has been entirely removed by our governmental officials in the army. So the occupant's job would be harder to get to places and to settle here for a longer period of time. We saw multiple bridges like this. Even though the cities around Kiev and uh, the region and the villages have taken a lot of heavy fighting and destruction, everything has been removed apart from just a few pieces of like tanks or machinery just for people to see the destroyed Russian vehicles. <laughs> 